Hi, this is Eric Vega with GoEngineer. In this quick video, I want to show you how to upload your SOLIDWORKS parts into the 3D platform uh, to be able to use them in Simulia by using the SOLIDWORKS connector. The benefit of using the SOLIDWORKS connector is you'll be able to modify the geometry very easily in SOLIDWORKS and then push it into the platform. We'll begin by opening up the PLM services add-in. Now before we begin, we actually have to upload this file into the 3D Experience Vault. To do so, I'll right click it and choose Save with Options. When I click Copy, a copy of my local file will be made into the 3D Experience Vault. On this next pop-up, you want to make sure to select Convert. Once the Drive Format Launcher finishes doing its job, now we can select the part, click on the compass, and then choose the app to use. When Simulia opens, it asks what type of analysis I want to do. I'll choose Structural. Before we begin, I'd like to change the name of the simulation to something that makes more sense. We're going to simulate the weight of somebody sitting on the front of the chair on these legs. There's a tool I really like to use here. If I right click on the background, I'll be able to load up the assistant. What this does is it allows me to see the different steps that I still have to set up so that I can finish my study. I could use the assistant as a step through process that would allow me to set up everything, but I want to use it more as a checklist so you can see how to do this manually. We're going to begin by assigning the mesh type to be utilized for this model. So to tell it to use a solid mesh, I want to go into the model app. When I first launch it, I have a few options for this to save me some time. If I were to select automatic, it would actually give me a mesh uh, with default settings. I want to select none because I want to do it from scratch. I'll start by going to the Properties tab, select Solid section, and then click the solid that we have. Here I can also assign the material. If I click the magnifying glass, it's going to bring up the material palette. This is our material library. These lectures are going to be made with ABS, so I'll select the material and then click OK. This will apply the material to this particular section. If you look on the left hand side of the feature tree, you'll see that under properties we now have that solid section set up and there's been a material added, ABS, to that solid section. Next, we need to assign the mesh parameters. For that, we'll go to the mesh app. Once I'm in here, I'll go to the mesh option and I'll choose tetrahedron mesh. This will be a similar mesh to what you're used to seeing in SOLIDWORKS. I'll choose my section body and I'll click mesh. That mesh looks pretty good, so I won't need to add any mesh refinements. When I click OK, if we look on the left hand side, now you will see that the mesh settings are here. Had we assigned any local mesh, it would also be visible right below it, and we could use that to modify it. The next step is to go to the Scenario app and set up the study. Before I start, I have to tell it what type of study I want this to be. I want to use a static step. This comes up with the parameters for the study time step. I'm going to leave them as default. I'll begin with restraining my model here. And to do that, I'll go into the Restraints tab inside of my Structural Scenario Creation app. And instead of Clamp, which is like fixed for SOLIDWORKS simulation, I want to choose Fixed Placement. What I want to do is have independent control of the six degrees of freedom on the faces that I select. For this selection, I want to choose the faces of the geometry. To hide the mesh but show the geometry, I'm going to right click in the background and choose Visualization Manager. You could also access it by selecting this button in the Assistant. Here I'm going to choose to hide the FEM so I can select those faces easily. Notice that on the top I have a Selection Manager to help me choose the entities I want. I'm going to choose these internal faces. I'll choose these front three ones and I'm only going to lock the three translation of degrees of freedom. Next, I'm going to add a remote force by going to the load tab, clicking the drop down on force and choosing remote force. The width of the person will be set on these internal faces that I'm selecting right now. And we're going to take into account the weight of a 300 pound person. To define the directions, I want to select my axis system definition to be global. So that Y is going to be upwards, where I can say 300 pounds, and I can see my preview shows me that's upwards. So to change directions, I'll put a negative. 
Now to move the force, I can utilize this triad, also called the robot. I click and drag it, and then move it away to where the position of the front of the chair would be. Once I click OK, you'll notice the assistant has been checking off each one of the steps that we needed to finish so that we can get to the end point of simulating this study. To simulate it, I'll click on Simulate, then OK to let the study run. The simulation status window has a lot of very useful information to help troubleshoot my study if it does not finish, just as well as it lets me understand how the study was able to finish and show all the iterations and time steps that were taken. With the simulation finished, the physics results app opens up automatically. Here we can view the results for each time step very quickly. We can also play the animation of all of these results. We can section our plots in any direction we want. Uh, use the mouse as a probe for any location. We can also display max and min stresses. And also display the mesh just like you're used to in SOLIDWORKS. Following this workflow allows the SOLIDWORKS file to be linked to Simulia so that if we make any changes in the SOLIDWORKS part, we'll be able to propagate them here to further our study. We'll be covering how to do these steps in another video. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos on how to utilize Simulia in the 3D Experience platform. Thanks for watching.